I have some random yet also wacky reasons why I have purchased some of my bags and accessories and this is definitely one of them so if you're interested in my reasoning for these wacky purchases then stay tuned. Hello, if you're new here, my name is Andrea and welcome to my channel and thanks for joining me in the babe cave. Yes, this is the babe cave <laughs> where I hold all my luxury contemporary purses <laughs> and accessories. Uh, thank you for joining me today on this tag video and the original creator and I'll have these linked down below was Beauty Lux Lover. And the tag is wacky or random reasons why you bought certain bags or accessories. And Nancy Carnes did this video with her reasonings on some bags she got and tagged me to do this video. And I definitely have some, a few that I can definitely think are random or wacky reasons why I got them. So thank you for creating it. Beauty Lux Lover and Nancy Carnes for tagging me. So let's just get started for these wacky random reasons I bought things. <laughs> As shown in the beginning, this poof ball is a random or wacky reason is because I saw it and I thought I needed this rainbow giant poof ball for for my bags, I think because it had every color that you can think of on it, and I rarely ever wear this thing, <laughs> because, I mean, it's a giant poof ball. Uh, it was a thing back in a few years ago, and I, I thought I needed to have every color in the rainbow, <laughs> that I would carry this little bag charm on my purses, so... Yeah, I, I occasionally, rarely even put this on anymore. <laughs> so I do have uh, this wacky little poof ball that I think I bought it because of all the colors. And another one I bought, me and my husband pick up my daughter during school or at the end of school day and, you know, it's winter, you just want something small and... For me, this little bag I have carried every winter now, <laughs> and that would be the Coach Nolita 19, and it's strangely like carpet material. It was on the outlet site, and uh, I, I love the texture of this bag, and you just throw in your keys and, and walk out the door, and this is not everybody's taste. But for some reason, reason, I am a texture gal and this has been going with me to pick up my daughter from school during both winters. So I think that's wacky because it does look like carpet. So uh, yeah, that would be why I got this to pick her up from school. Uh, this next one. I, I'm a casual day-to-day -day leggings, sweatshirt, t-shirt gal, and for some reason I thought I needed a bag for specific reasons like New Year's Eve or, you know, how they pull out the rhinestones and the sequin bags and everyone gets enthralled by the, the sparkle, and I thought I needed my own sparkle for a evening out and it's giant pink rhinestone bag that I bought for a night out evening wise but the thing is I don't go to that many fancy or <laughs> you know events like that to, to carry this and I bought it and I still like it but I never I've worn it one time to a play but that's the only thing I've ever carried it for and 
So yeah, I bought it for a play or concerts and I haven't been to a concert. So I, I, I don't know. This was kind of a wacky purchase, but I still like it. And uh, the bling on it is very blingy, but it is kind of a, a wacky reason. <laughs> this next bag, I bought it because it was Autumn Beckman's. <laughs> I also bought it because I wanted to try out the style, but I knew that she had really great taste and great bags in her collection. And I saw this one and it reminds you of the Birkin. It's just, uh, it's really nice soft leather. It has the feet on the bottom. It kind of gives you the feels of the Birkin bag, you know, without the name brand. So yeah, I bought it because it was hers and on a vlog sale and it was a good price and it's all leather. But it is, you know, it has a little strap, but I just use a top handle. I've only carried it a few times. I still really like it. I think this is actually really good quality for, you know, a dupe bag. But I bought it because... It was Autumn Beckman's purse. <laughs> but I do end up really do like this bag, though. <laughs> and I like my little horse that I added to it. So that was kind of a random reason. This next one is a card holder. I rarely use card holders, but I wanted to match with my bags a card holder. And if you hadn't noticed, I have pink walls and that's my favorite color. So apparently I needed the Louis Vuitton uh, with the fuchsia on the leather parts card holder. And I wanted to match my Louis Vuitton monogram. I mean, that's not that random, but I never hardly use this piece. But I bought it also because it was on the website and it's I'm the only owner of this card holder. <laughs> so I feel like, yeah, I bought it because it was available. <laughs> but also because of the color fuchsia. So I need to bring out this little you know, expensive little SLG again, because it's kind of random why I picked it up because it was available online. <laughs> One last piece is when I started watching YouTube, everyone was converting this to a bag. <laughs> and that would be the toiletry pouch. And this is the 26 size. I bought this brand new on the website and uh, this was unavailable for quite some time and I snatched it before they did a giant price hike on it and then now they've redesigned to make this in a, into a bag. <laughs> so I really just bought this so I could have another Louis Vuitton bag and I bought the conversion kit with the the felt little organizer and then you can attach you know your little rings and to a strap and you tuck it in over here I think we've all probably seen this and I bought this because I wanted another Louis Vuitton bag and so I made this pouch into a bag and I occasionally wear it you know but I don't think that I would have ever bought the redesigned bag of this one for the price, but it's, it doesn't hold a whole lot. So, and it's a box shape, so kind of rectangle, but yeah. So this was a random purchase because I wanted to convert it to a bag <laughs> and I hardly do that now. So those are my random reasons and accessories that bags and accessories that I think is a little kooky for why I did it, but I still love my pieces that I got and whether they're random or wacky or not, I'll, I'll probably eventually carry and wear all of them again. <laughs> but anyway, thank you for tagging me, Nancy, and uh, go check out both their links down below and I'll try to tag some people down below that have not done this. If you've already done it, just ignore this. But if you want to do it and I forget to tag you, do it. 
I think this is kind of an entertaining, fun video, at least it was for me, to watch to see why people buy what they buy. <laughs> at least the random stuff, right? And then the random reasons. So thank you again for coming by and don't forget to hit the like and the thumbs up, subscribe and comment down below. Do you have random wacky reasons why you bought something? Let me know down below. I would love to hear it. And uh, thank you all for watching and thank you to my new subbies. Hello. And uh, until next time, I will talk to you soon. Bye. Be sure to like and subscribe.